Guitar enthusiasts from around the nation gathered at Purdue University this summer with a single mission, design, build, and play their own electric guitar. With the help of Purdue professors from the College of Technology and Discovery Park, students employed advanced design software and advanced manufacturing techniques to complete their task. Experts from industry leaders like Fender, Taylor, Irwin, Seymour Duncan, and Stuart McDonald were also on hand at each step to assist workshop participants. Access to such luminaries made the 2,000-mile journey and $1,300 tuition worthwhile for California musician Toby Ban, who already owns at least a dozen guitars. A lot of guys bring in woodworking and craftsmanship experience, um, so um, it's a tight community here. Everybody helps each other, uh, and the common bond here is that everybody really enjoys guitars and is pretty much excited about building their own. Some guys are more experienced than others, and they're happy to help out, and the guys who haven't done it before are happy to listen, like myself. Fender senior designer Tim Shaw began his career as a repairman. He enjoyed the opportunity to tutor fellow guitar lovers at the workshop, most of whom had no prior manufacturing experience. I was really unprepared for the fact that 15 people, none of whom had guitar building experience, were willing to take up files and other large sharp objects and just have that blocks of wood. And they've done it with enormous enthusiasm and actually more skill than I would have expected, so that's been really great. Mark French, an assistant professor in mechanical engineering technology, created the workshop. The former aerospace and automotive engineer also teaches a semester-long course on making an acoustic guitar, a curriculum that builds on his research in harmonics conducted at Taylor headquarters and elsewhere. That class was so popular he created the opportunity for non-Purdue students. He said he wouldn't be allowed such latitude in many places other than Purdue. I could go in places where I worked on the weekends when the, the test equipment wasn't being used, but I always had to kind of skulk around, you know, it was always sort of a furtive thing. Um, here, I could kind of come out of the closet, and as long as I could show that what I was doing was a good educational venue and was of service to our students or maybe in the greater community, the, the department's been good with it, the college has been good with it, they've been very supportive of me. French already has twice as many applicants as he has seats for his next acoustic class in spring. He's looking to expand the workshop next summer, perhaps with a session just for high schoolers. Indianapolis high schooler Keegan Dunn is enrolled in ScienceBound, a program designed to motivate and assist inner city teenagers to study science and technology at the university level. Dunn said the hands-on experience this year at French's workshop is opening his eyes to his opportunities at Purdue. I just gave me insight to a whole new wor you know, world that I've never been introduced to. And um, it actually, I'm, you know, now considering going into a field like this because of you know just this past two weeks that I've been here and it's really kind of inspired me to kind of look into something like that and I never really thought of that before. Tim Shaw was impressed with the work he saw from the students from teenagers like Dunn through graybeards like himself. They will be perhaps less elegant than handmade instruments from people who have been making guitars for a very long time. They'll certainly be serviceable and functional. I think what's more important is that they'll understand the basic principles of working on them so that if later on they say, gee, this neck feels a little bit thick, they won't be afraid to say, okay, I know how to fix that. Not everybody can do that. So they'll be good musical tools. I think everybody's going to remember sometimes a project like this is as much about the journey as it is about the destination. And at that point, I think for a lot of these people, it's been a journey. For Purdue News Service, I'm Jim Shank.